guys, ADHD here. Back with another video. Back with another video. How'd you even do that? <laughs> ADHD mind powers. I hope you guys are having an amazing day because that's what you beautiful people deserve. Today is going to be a very, very, very flood, 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 fun, fun, fun vlog. I'm really excited for it because I ordered something online the other day and it came in and it's going to be awesome to use. One of the one of the most viewed videos on this channel actually, you guys loved it. It's basically like a part two or like a, I guess like a, a reboot of that with a really cool twist. I'm going to show you guys that in a, later on in the vlog. Got a lot of stuff planned for today, but you guys know the drill. Right now on your guys' screen, there are three briefcases. You are going to go on a shopping spree to wherever you want. All three briefcases have a random amount of money in there. This is how much money you have for your shopping spree. So I'm going to reveal how much money you have in three seconds, and you're going to let me know down below what would you buy with that money down below. So you're going to find out how much money you have in three, two, one. Hopefully you got a lot of money or at least something you can do something with. I don't know how much money there's going to be here, but let me know down below how much money you got and what would you buy with this money? Would you buy a house, a car? Would you just buy anything you want with this money? You can only use the amount of money you get though, so you got to think about that. Make sure you spend it wisely. You know, you might go to college or something like that. I don't know. Whatever you want to do with it, let me know down below. All right, guys. The vlog's starting up a little bit weird today. You see I'm holding these two balloons. I found these outside. They're those ones that float really, really, really high. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a note, right? Right now on this piece of paper and I'm gonna put it onto this I'm gonna let it go and what's gonna be it's gonna be a letter just a letter from me and it's gonna have my Instagram snapchat all that stuff to let the person know whoever finds that letter to hit me up if one of you guys really random crazy odds out they find it magically hit me up and I will personally take one of you guys to lunch, you and your parents, or just you, whoever, if you're an adult, just whoever, I will take you personally to lunch, and I will vlog the whole process, because if somebody ever finds this, that would be incredible. So this is what I'm gonna try right now, because I'm right letter, and then I'm gonna put it on this, and we're just gonna let it go, see where it goes, it could land anywhere for all I know, and if they find it, then I get lunch. <laughs> And I think it's a win win for me because, like, you know, first off, I love meeting you guys. Whenever I meet you guys in public, it's freaking awesome. And second, because also, you know, it's I get to go on lunch too. And also because I'm doing an awesome vlog. <laughs> okay, so we got a reptar right here. There we go. <laughs> so I got the reptar note right here. All right, so there we go. So that is the note. I'm going to tie it on to this balloon right here. And then we're going to let it go. And like I said, if you find this, Here's my Snapchat, my Instagram, my Snapchat, my Twitter. Go ahead and just send me a picture of you with this exact note. I know my handwriting. I purposely wrote it in a certain way to where it can't be mimicked. Let me know. If you find it, send it to me, and we'll we'll connect and we'll figure something out here, all right? That would be an epic vlog. The odds of somebody finding it are very, very low, so don't expect it to ever come back in a vlog, but it could happen. You never know. This is what to do. All right, so I had to make the note a little bit smaller, but it has the same information on there because it didn't fly before. So here we go. Maybe wants to get a free lunch ADHD. Here we go. <laughs> hey, who knows where we land? Maybe we'll land in like Texas. I don't know, but yeah, probably not. But we'll, we'll find out in a second. You ready? If you love something, let it go. If it's meant to be, it'll come back. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it. All right, so it's gone. Who knows where to land? It could land right in your city. It could land in your front door. Who knows? But if you find it, hit me up. All right, so this is the first ever episode of a new series. And let me know if you guys like it. I'll try to keep doing it. This is Will It Stick? Officially the candidate for having some fun, you know? A lot of you guys always ask me, is this throwable? Is this throwable? And I always say, anything is throwable. Okay, guys? Anything that has a tip, a lightly sharp tip, is throwable. I promise you guys that and just to test that I had you guys leave some comments down below you guys have just told me stuff over the time and then Parker picked a variety of items I told you you can pick anything in the house that has a tip anything in my building that has a tip on it I will throw it and I see he got a little bit you know clever here and decided to get a colored pencil <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know if that's throwable but I'm gonna try and before we get to this guys do not try at home some of the stuff you guys have in your house do not try at home under any circumstance throwing knives first off is a really dangerous hobby as it is but throwing stuff that's not meant to be thrown can get really dangerous you get ricochets all kinds of stuff do not I try at home unless you have adult supervision or something like that and they want you to do it that, that's not my thing <laughs> all right so i'm gonna start off with something easy obviously here this is the reptar's claw it's gonna it's kind of a weird shape so it won't be able to stick like that i'm gonna have to throw it like a tomahawk so it can stick in that way and there's two targets there's an organic target which is made out of obviously a watermelon and then we have the wood behind it if i think it's possible for it to stick into the wood i'll do it if i don't think it's possible then i'll just go for the melon because the melon will be a little bit easier but nonetheless all of them are throwable ready so i'm gonna throw for the melon on this one here we go 
I'm ready. Ooh, <laughs> that, was, that was too easy. I was pretty confident that one was going to be no problem. Let's move on to the next thing. First item, will it stick? Yes. All right, so shout out to GMM because I totally got the inspiration for this from Will It Taco, Will It Burrito, all that stuff. That is an awesome series. That's why I want to do Will It Stick. And this came from you guys. Like I said, Parker picked most of these items. But here we go, all right? First off, we're going to start with an easy one, scissors. I'm using this target because this is made to like mimic like shooting a crossbow or something like that. It's also used for throwing knifing if you want to. Here we go. Scissors will stick. And trust me, things do not stick in this very easily. <laughs> they usually fall out if you don't get a good hit. So here we go. Garden tool. Barely stuck, but it's stuck. Kitchen scissors, stick. Ooh, nice. Skewer, sticks. Handsaw, this is gonna be a little bit dangerous to throw. Here we go. Oh, wow. <laughs> a little high, but it's thick. This one's gonna be hard because it's got fletchings. It's gonna be kind of weird to throw, which is why I'm pretty sure Parker picked it because it's gonna like flutter in the wind. But I know the trick to this is gonna like level out, so I'm gonna flip it like this. Yes! Wow. All right, now we're moving on to the harder items. This is a camping spike. Kind of pretty easy, actually, I think it's going to be, so. Yeah, that was pretty yeah, easy. That was, yeah. <laughs> All right, fun fact, I actually learned how to throw knives using butter knives, so joke's on you, Parker. All right, next up, fork. <laughs> how about you put a fork in it? <laughs> Dude, you mad? You have know that one uncle just always talking crap. You're like, how about you just shut up? <laughs> okay, uh, throwing claw. This is gonna be actually kind of hard. I'm gonna try it like this. Hopefully, it doesn't cut my hand on the way out. Oh, <laughs> that barely stuck, but that is a stick. The bat claw got in deep enough to stay. Okay, now we're on the hard, hard stuff. All right, exacto knife. Oh, <laughs> that, that one I knew was gonna stick in the wood for sure. All right, so a pin. This is, could be hard. Oh! <laughs> it's stuck right here, see? Oh, there it is. <laughs> and then a color pencil. This one's gonna be the hardest, I think. Oh! oh wow. <laughs> that, that one's gonna be the hardest. First try. <laughs> All that stuff stuck. I'm telling you, anything with a tip is throwable. I'm gonna try the pencil, the color pencil, and the pin on the melon. And right, here we go. Ready? Get close to this one. I'm gonna have to do a lot of force. Okay, so a pin is throwable. It's gotta be the right kind of pin though. But a colored pencil, I did it. You can see that. Yeah, that was surprising. <laughs> so like I said, guys, now it went pretty deep in there too. It went about that deep. All that colored lead in you. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, anything I'm telling you with the tip is throwable. If you wanna challenge me, leave a comment down below what you wanna see me throw. As long as it has a tip, I can throw it. All right, next up is a CD. This one I don't know is gonna work. Oh! oh! Dude! <laughs> Ninja Star CD. <laughs> All right, guys, now we're gonna start on the Hammer Shot mod. If you guys have been subscribed for a long, long time, you guys know the first video I uploaded on this channel was a Nerf Katana mod using the Hammer Shots, basically slicing through stuff. It was freaking epic. One of my favorite videos, one of your guys' favorite videos. This video has almost a million views, and a lot of you guys wanted to see like a part two or me strap a katana on there again. So I decided I wanna do it again, but I wanna do it a little bit different. So I found this online. You guys know like Counter-Strike Go, all those games. What about those dope camos? I found a rainbow katana, mini katana to fit on there perfectly. This thing is like the most flamboyant death on earth. <laughs> it's like, no, I'm a nice guy on the inside. <laughs> Just, ah! That's gonna get strapped on here and we're gonna have two hammer shot katana mod rainbow edition. So rainbow katana mod, here we go. Gonna strap that on there. This is gonna be one that can actually fire and shoot most dangerous bullets as well. So it's katana with exacto knife bullets. This is gonna be an OP nerf gun. <laughs> All right guys, got another rollback set of Pokemon cards here. Five packs, less than one minute. Here we go, three, two, one, let's start. Yo, Litwick, we got Litwick, we got Joltik, we got F Fold Tick, we got Birdmite Tick, <laughs> we got Malucha, and three, two, one, nothing but a piece of garbage. Tangela, Krogonk, Shallow, Sminky, Apom, Tangela, and... Oh! Ranger full art baby got the full art trainer Pokemon Ranger I am trying to get a complete trainer full art collection so I greatly appreciate this card there we go all right guys so here they are the rainbow hammer shots these are way way cooler looking than the first ones the thing I like the most about these I never called the first one zombie certified because you couldn't shoot them but now you can shoot them and you can also cock it and you can shoot them <laughs> these are officially zombie certified because now they can shoot so <laughs> that was the problem with the first ones they could not shoot there was so much tape and glue that the guns couldn't even be used now they can shoot and they have katana so you have a ranged and a melee close range weapon and one right here so here we go let's do a little chopping ready Ooh. oh 
that was. Oh, oh wow. Oh. So you're, you know, you're in a zombie apocalypse. You're like, we only got one half, one fraction of an apple. We gotta split this three ways, guys. Here's your piece right here. I get this this piece over here, the big one, because I have these swords. <laughs> okay, so now that it's shootable, we can hit our target. Oh, hit the apple over there. <laughs> hit the target, put a good wound in it, and then a double bang right this. Oh! Oh, wow, the water's already depleted. <laughs> and it's in style with the rainbow. All right, so I did a double slash. Now we're trying to go for a full cut through. Let's see what happens. Ready? I'm ready. All right, so I just got done shooting some zombies. One gets a little close. Oh! <laughs> Oh. These are OP, and it's like such a sick camo too. Like a zombie's like, okay, you know, you killed me, but that looks sick. I'm gonna be honest, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest that's worth dying for. It's the last watermelon left on the earth. You're like, okay, how are we gonna cut this open? Just... <laughs> <laughs> Seems fitting. And then they're like, oh man, thanks for bringing the melon, dude. Like I said, my 100% favorite thing about this one versus the first mod is I kind of like the first mod. You guys loved it, but I, I just kind of felt like if it couldn't shoot, you might as well just be walking around with two katanas. You know? Like, what's the point of the guns? But now that it can shoot, oh my oh. god! Why? You want to piss on me? <laughs> That's what happens to the last guy to beat on me. Not that, that happened. That's what makes this one a lot better than the first one, in my opinion, is it's actually shootable. So now the comments have a purpose, and so do the gun. All right, if you're a professional gunslinger, you can also use it for a mid-range weapon. So you got long range by shooting, you got close range by swinging, and if you got the skill, it's also a mid-range weapon. <laughs> Anything is throwable. <laughs> can you imagine, dude? You have like a trigger on there to where it hit him, and then something like, ah, and then it shoots. Ah! Oh! I did not think I was gonna be able to do that. Holy crap. I literally before doing that tool park, I'm gonna do this once, see if I can do it, get the clip. If I can't, then uh, we're just out of luck. But first try. All right, so guys coming at me, I'm like, warning shot. Hey, dude. They're like, oh, no, why'd you do that? And he's, I'm like, stop what you're doing, man. Stop what you're doing. He keeps moving. I'm just like, oh. He's like, no. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> He'd be dead. He'd definitely be that zombie. He'd be dead. So. That is it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, make sure you guys subscribe. Hit that like button. Hit the bell button. All that great stuff. And as always, I will see you beautiful people tomorrow.